So where's the risk-free rate on this picture here? Ah, good point. So obviously we're doing lots of special cases here. In the state space case, I drew a case where the risk-free rate was a traded payoff. We could do it with the risk-free rate, not a traded payoff, and I'd need more dimensions. And I'm kind of challenged to write three dimensions already. In this case, I, I drew the case where there isn't a, risk, a traded riskless payoff. What would this look like with the risk-free rate? Then the mean variance frontier would look like this. That's what the mean variance frontier looks like with a risk-free rate. And it would look exactly like that. Uh, we would just go through the risk-free rate on our way up to the mean variance frontier. So in state space, we would, we would start at our star, go through the risk-free rate, and get to the mean variance frontier. So that's what it looks like with a risk-free rate. That's what it looks like without a risk-free rate. So is R star the tangency portfolio on the wrong side of the minimum variance frontier? That's a good question. Uh, and OK, so this is not the risky asset frontier. This is a case in which we would have no risk-free rate. Uh, in this case, with the risk-free rate, the risky asset frontier would have to be up there somewhere. Yes, this has to be tangent because R star is the minimum second moment portfolio, so that the uh, the the return cannot it can't cross that way. So I think we just proved it has to be tangent. Never thought of that, but it seems like it's true.